what advice do you have for teachers about teaching reading? I have three general pieces of advice for teachers. First, teachers need to spark learners' interest in reading. Students can read for fun and learn from it. Reading for fun also exposes students to a wide variety of language that does not exist in other contexts. When students have an interest in what they are reading, they can be motivated to read. When students recognize that a written text is representing their world knowledge, they begin to realize that what they are decoding has meaning and interest for them. Teachers help students develop literacy by helping them make connections between the text and their own background knowledge. Second, Teachers should connect reading with writing. Encourage students to read whatever is interesting to them and also to write something about what they read. Having students keep journals about what they read and more importantly, what they think about what they read can play a huge role in developing their critical literacy. Just keep in mind that in literacy development, a journal offers the conversation between the writer, who is typically the student, and the reader, the teacher. Just as you wouldn't want to correct everything a student says, it is important for teachers not to correct journals, but to respond to them as a conversation. This also models what good readers often do as they question and ponder the author's texts. Third, teachers should help students work toward reading authentic text. Make sure you offer students many choices of reading materials and encourage them to read. If students have the knowledge necessary, offering an authentic text can be very useful and motivating. As I mentioned, literacy is all about bringing one's world knowledge to the printed page and having the printed page expand one's world knowledge. So, teaching students to read authentic text in English is really the goal. The materials available on the internet can clearly support the goals of reading instruction. For example, the Voice of America website has new current information every day. And what a great opportunity for students to journal. They can write about what they read and what they think. They can engage in critical reading, beginning with questions, what is the news story about? What do I know about this topic? Why was it chosen for Voice of America? Of course, Voice of America and other sources on the internet tend to present authentic text in English. But how can students read authentic texts before they know how to read? Let's look at the idea that students learn English by reading, but they need English to read. How do we break into that learning and reading circle? An important tool that we have is the simplified text, prepared especially for English learners. One example is The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn on the American English website. This is a classic in American literature that has been simplified to allow students to read it. On the website, it gives the number of headwords, 2,000, or the number of unique words used in the text. 
and it says that the text on the website is an adaptation of the classic. An adaptation is a text that has been changed. The story is set in the middle of the United States on the Mississippi River. It's a story about the adventures of a boy in his early teens and his friends almost 200 years ago. This and other texts are available on the website chapter by chapter so that they can be downloaded and used in class. The internet is a wonderful source for teaching and learning reading. Next, we'll ask Alte for some more ideas about internet resources for teaching reading.